What's up everybody? My name is Nick. I am a drummer, bassist, producer, and music lover, and also music collector. And this is sort of a quick tour, quick rundown of all of my K-pop albums. I think there's, uh, I know there's over 200 of them. I don't know the exact number anymore, but it is definitely over 200. And I'm out here in my living room where I have my partner and I have two dedicated display units, um, one of which is for EXO and one of which is for NCT. So I'll start off with those. I'm not going to go super in-depth because um, I don't have the time for that. And Gigi, my partner, already has done a video on the EXO collection that we have, so I will put a link to that here so you can go watch that if you're interested in seeing more about that. Um, but yeah, I'm out here in my living room, so let me... Go ahead and flip forward to the unit, as we call it. So this is, as I said, the unit, which is what we like to affectionately call it. Um, I have the light turned off right now just because it has its own string lights that are set up in there and I think it looks pretty, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on my living room light again so that you guys can see the albums in a little bit better detail. So here is the unit in better lighting and as you can see we do have some stuff on top as well um, which I'll point out here in a moment and again please like ignore any background noises that are happening because I am in my living room and I'm recording this on my phone so I don't have the uh, the most control over my environment right now but that's okay. Let's go ahead and move in here. So up here on the top, we have the EXO original version one light stick. Um, let me, that's the wrong way. Still getting used to using this gimbal, so sorry about that. Uh, but we do have the EXO version one light stick here and the version three right here in its box. This is, I believe, a uh, some sort of kit from one of the concerts. I'm actually not sure what that is. Um, and then this is a painting that Gigi did of all the EXO members symbols for OT9. Uh, then we have this little fan made thing that we got printed here um, with OT9 as well from their Don't Fight the Feeling era or as close to it as we could get uh, because that didn't have all the members in it. And then we have the Don't Fight the Feeling LP up here, along with this magazine with Chin on the cover there. So the way that the unit is laid out, right here we have our merch cabinet. These center nine squares are for OT9 members. Up here is Winter Albums, CBX, SC, Tempo slash Love Shot album, Obsession album, because those two are our favorites. And then we have the rest of the albums down here, photo card binders, and then down here we have just random photo books, DVDs, and stuff like that. So let's go zoom in a little bit, see what all we got. We'll start off with this merch cabinet right here. We have Tolegi Chapsal. The little keychain thing, which I forget the name of. Um, all of the Don't Fight the Feeling keychains in there. The, uh, I think those are a few fan made things, and maybe the uh, projection key rings back in there. And like I said, I'm not going to go too in depth onto any of this EXO stuff because there is a whole separate 30, 40 something minute video on that on Gigi's channel. So go check that out if you do want to see more about this collection. She knows much more about it than I do anyway. Uh, but moving on, we have Baekhyun. The members are arranged alphabetically, so we start with Baekhyun. We have all of his albums, I'm pretty sure. Um, we might be missing like one or two copies of Bambi, but I don't really remember off the top of my head. <clears throat> and then we have his ninth anniversary coaster right here, his Exodus cover here, um, some Kinos back in there. We've got City Lights and Delight Kino versions and a couple of magazines over there. And I'm not going to take any of this stuff out because it is 
meticulously arranged and I don't want to mess with it, so sorry about that. But let's move on to Chanyol. We also have his ninth anniversary coaster. Um, and we also have the cups that go along with them, which you saw over here in the merch cabinet. That's what is holding the projection key rings back there. Um, but for Chanyol and Baekhyun, those are our two biases in this house. So we decided to get their ninth anniversary coasters. Uh, we also have the box soundtrack and the little pop-up thing that came with that magazine cover, his Exordium mask, and some of his Japanese album covers for Countdown and Coming Over, and then his Exodus cover as well. Moving on to Chen, we have all versions of all of his albums so far, and then uh, I don't actually know what this photo card is, but uh, might not be a photo card, actually I think it's a sticker. Um, but I, I don't remember what that's from off the top of my head. Then, like I said, we have our winter albums over here. So we have Universe there, For Life in the background back there, um, and then this little picture thing from the Universe era, and a little Christmas tree with this ornament that Gigi made out of clay, and it is the XOL light stick, which is adorable. So down here in the second row, we have XOCBX Cubby, their selfie book from um, Ladder Season 1, I believe, several of their albums, and, sorry, trying to get a hold of this gimbal thing. Controls are a little weird, but that's okay. Let's move on to Dio. We have all the versions of his solo album, and this little, uh, don't exactly remember what that standee is from, but we have it as well. Moving on to Kai, we have, I don't think we have all the versions of his album. I think we just have, yeah, we just have two of them back there. Um, we don't, we're missing one of the versions, I don't remember what it is, but we do have all the versions of Peaches. And then this uh, was the first uh, this came out of the first Obsession album that we ever bought, um, which is sort of what started this whole merch collecting thing. So that's why we have that framed and on display right there. Moving on to Lei, we have all four of his physical albums. We have the very limited um, lit physical edition, which was very hard to get. And then we have this little lenticular cover for sheep here, which the gimbal isn't going to let me... Eh, it sort of does. Yeah, it's a lenticular cover. It's pretty cool. Anyway, now we have XOSC. We've got a magazine cover for them. Two of the three Kinos for one billion views. And then all of the regular editions of both of their albums. Then this is our Tempo slash Love Shot cover. Uh, Cubby, I mean, and this is special to us because Love Shot was the song that got us into EXO and also just that whole album um, really just no skips, honestly. Well, one skip, but that's for that's a discussion for another time, but it is one of our favorite albums from EXO. Here we have Sehun, who doesn't have that much because he doesn't have a solo album yet, but Whenever he releases that, rest assured, that will be in here. So just for now, we have his countdown cover and this uh, Figaro magazine cover that he did. Then for Suho, he just released a new album. So we've got that all stocked up in there, all the versions of that, all the versions of his first album as well. And then this uh, coming over cover for him. There we go. I think I can figure out how to use this thing now. We also have that magazine cover back there, which you can't really see because the extra copies of Grey Suit are in front of it. I should probably move those. I'll do that later. And then the last member cubby we have here is Schumann, who also does not have a solo album yet. But again, once he releases that, that will go right in here. We do have, however, the On Sweet Time merch. We got some of that going on in there. And then we have 
No, no, don't let you do this to me. There we go. You're being weird. Come on, Gimbal. There we go. We also have his um, Halloween monster PC, which is very, very, very sought after and was not cheap to get. But we have it and it is beautiful. Then next up is the Obsession Cubby. We have all of their little uh, square photo viewer card things. I don't exactly know what they are, but we have them. We have the Kino versions. We have all of the regular versions as well. That album had so many different versions, it's kind of crazy. I'm not going to open these and leaf through them. I was going to, but that's going to be even just skimming it is going to be a long ass video but these are our photo card binders for EXO so this is all of the album PCs I believe we counted about 380 of them give or take um, and we do have more on the way then this binder is full of the non-album PCs and this is postcards and various other stuff that doesn't fit in a normal binder sleeve uh, so yeah there's probably about 600 in there and counting so that's fun uh, then we have not necessarily chronological but by era so we have OT9 era with love me right and lotto slash exact back there then we have OT12 era with growl overdose and both copies of mama the Korean and the Chinese version and then we have, well, this is really just the war era, um, because the other OT8 album is Love Shot slash Tempo, and that has its own cubby. Uh, but we do have the repack back there, and then two of the three versions of the war right here. And then Don't Fight the Feeling, um, which only has its own cubby because we have a lot of copies of it. Um, but neither of us super love that album. It's just the first comeback that we were around for, so it does have that special meaning for us. All right, now we're on the bottom row, and I'm gonna move Leo, because he would like to say hi, but uh, he's in my way, so. Boop, 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 boop. This box right here is just full of inserts, sleeves, uh, stuff that doesn't really have a place elsewhere. But then we have Leo again, who's standing in front of all of our season's greetings. We have everything from 2018, 19, 20, 21, and 22. And then we've got some photo books over here. We have Dear Happiness, both of the present photo books here. Um, some from their concerts here. I don't remember which ones we have, all of them. I think that's two, three four and five um, and then we've got exos first and second boxes down in here exology chapter one and then you can't really see it but we have the from happiness uh, behind the scenes dvd as well and then finally we have our dvds so we have a sealed copy of the box physical edition and one that we opened. We have this Film Live Blu-ray set, which we've not opened. Um, then we have all five concerts on DVD. I believe those are all in Japan. Japan, Japan, Japan. Yeah, those are all the Japanese ones. EXO Next Door, the best drama that you've never seen. And if you have seen it, it's the best drama that you have seen, because it's amazing. We have the Rewind Blossom cassette kit in there and then a copy of Bird, which is the Japanese single that they released, um, either just before or just after Obsession. I don't remember which. I think it came before. Uh, but yeah, that is it for EXO. This just has a bunch of random shit in it that's not EXO related, but uh, yeah. That was a relatively brief, as brief as I could make it, rundown of all of our EXO merch. So let's move on to NCT. All right guys, so here's our NCT shelf. Uh, I'm gonna pan down a little bit. And let's start up here at the top. We've got Wavy. 
So we have two copies of the Korean pressing of Take Over the Moon and then one copy of the Thai pressing, which is a little harder to find. Uh, it's got different pages, so those are white instead of gold leafed like the ones on the Korean pressing. Uh, there we go. And we have Take Off, which is also pretty hard to find. That is the original pressing of that, and I don't think that's ever been reprinted, so uh, that wasn't cheap to get. And then we have Kickback as well. We have one of each version of that. Then we've got our Super M shelf here, so we've got one each of this album, the first album, Super One, that's what it's called. And then we have Baekhyun's cover for Super M and just the regular um, logo cover for that as well. Down here we have the NCT photo card binder, which uh, eh, not quite as many as EXO, but you know, probably not gonna get there at any point because we're not collecting NCT that heavily, but uh, it, it's got a decent amount in there. Then this is the Wavy Season's Greetings. We have, uh, yep, I believe this is Taeyong and Utah. Yep, their L Magazine shoot. Oh god, that's... There we go. And then we have this Super M X Marvel collab uh, box, which you've seen me wear this t-shirt from in some of my videos before. Super comfy, highly recommend. It had some other stuff in there too, I don't remember what it is and I'm not gonna open it to remember, but that's all right. And then of course, the NCT light stick. We are probably planning on getting wavies at some point as well, but for right now we just have the NCT one. Then we have this little mini shelf here with a bunch of kinos on it. And then we have the NCT dream shelf, so we've got Hello Future and it's Repack Hot Sauce right here. We have Glitch Mode over here. Uh, we only have Jamin's Jewel Case right now. Uh, we might be getting more of those in the future. I don't really know. Um, and then we have Boom over here. Sorry, We Boom is the name of the album. Then moving on, we have the regular uh, yearly NCT units, I guess, if you want to call it that. Uh, so we've got Empathy here, and then all of the Resonance photo books back there, Universe photo book, and all of the Universe jewel cases right there, lined up alphabetically, so starting with Chenla. And then, finally, come on, Gimbal, don't do me like that. Finally, we have Virgo, aka Virgin Mobile who wants to investigate because I'm doing things without her and she knows she's not allowed to be in the NCT shelves, but she does it anyway, right? Come on, there you go. Right, so we have NCT 127, we've got uh, Neozone sticker back there, regular irregular, regular irregular again. No, that's limitless, I lied. Punch and Superhuman, and then more sticker slash favorite copies over there. So, not as much NCT stuff, but uh, you know, EXO is our old group after all, so that'll have to be what it is for now. Probably going to buy the repackage of Glitch Mode, which I think just came out, so we'll have that soon eventually too. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and go into my office slash filming studio and I'll show you the girl group collection. All right, so here's a little bit different view of the studio. This is where I film. And uh, let's go ahead and go in. Got my desk here. Drum kit over here. Come on. There we go. Drum kit over here. This stuff you guys have all seen all of already, and I'll get into that in a second. Got my skateboards over there with various uh, K-pop related stickers. 
this one is mine, this one is Gigi's, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the albums first. Well, you guys have seen the posters that I have, maybe not this Chanyo one, uh, but I do have that sitting right next to me. But let's look at the albums shelves. First off is Red Velvet, so I have Season's Greetings, which I actually meant to open, but I guess I never did, so that's still sitting there sealed. Um, then I have Red Velvet Festival, both days, and Finale is back here. Th these shelves are kind of, like, the stuff on them doesn't like to stay put very much, so I'm not going to move stuff around too much, but uh, I also have a copy of Summer Magic over here. Sergi's postcard from School Oz. I have a set of three of them back there. A really bad boy here. The Queendom photo book version over there. Um, Red Velvet Festival Kino. I believe that's day one. I, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure that's day one. <laughs> and then I have uh, Queendom case version. Monster. I forget the name of that version, but it's the white box one. And then another copy of Rabbit Festival over there. Wendy's solo. I don't have Joy's solo yet, uh, but I do have this monster photo keyring as well. Um, there's more red velvet, but I'll get to that in a minute. Let's move on to this shelf, which used to be just for at least, it actually used to be for all of Blackpink. Then I got rid of all my Blackpink except for Lisa's solo, uh, of, of which I have both photo book versions there and the LP version here. And now Stray Kids have crept their way into my collection. So I have Lino, I have Sungmin, and I have Han and Felix. Yep. Um, those were given to us by a friend. So thank you, Nicole, for those. And then we bought this. Uh, photo book version herself but uh yeah they're they're creeping in they're finally making their way into the collection for better or for worse uh, haven't decided yet <laughs> let's move up to this top shelf though so we've got Soyeon Solo here behind that Dark Side of the Moon by Moonbyul from Mamoko this shelf is all um soloists by the way so i have sun meets you can't sit with us back there is spit it out by solar chung ha's recent killing me and um, a couple of other chung ha albums so i have flourishing and then cadencia back there as well uh, since i'm already pointing this up let's move over here to the idol shelf where i have all three versions of i never die back there i have both copies of I Trust, Dumpty Dumpty, yellow and purple there, with I Made in front, and I Burn, all three versions of that are back there in the back. I do not have I Am, which is a problem because I love that album, but uh, I haven't gotten around to getting that yet. Let's move down here. We got the Mama Moo shelf, which y'all have definitely seen in the background of my videos. Um, I have Hello, just the pink version, I don't have the red yet. Um, Melting, which is my favorite from them. The Piano Man single, Memory, Pink Funky, Purple, both versions of that, and then Blue and White. I don't have Yellow Flower or Red Moon yet. Um, again, that's a problem, and I'm also missing everything after these albums, so I don't have uh, Reality in Black or anything that came out after that. Uh, I've been kind of slow on my Mama Moo collecting, but these all are the first pressing editions. So they are the originals, they are not the repacks, which didn't come with photo cards, I don't think, uh, for some of them. These all did, except for Piano Man, I think. Uh, I don't know if even the first pressing for that one had photo cards. That's beside the point, though. Let's go over here, look at my face in this mirror, and then Look at my Everglow albums. So I've got Reminiscence here, both copies of Last Melody, and then both copies of Return of the Girl over there. 
Um, don't have the numbers one, which is my favorite one of theirs, which is a problem. I actually don't know why I haven't bought that yet. I should really just uh, get on that. But I do have this, uh, let me move that, signed t-shirt that I got as a VIP um, benefit for their online concert that they did last year, the first. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That was an amazing concert, by the way. If you haven't watched it, uh, I don't know if it's available on VOD, but if it is, you should definitely watch it or try to find it um, in a dubiously legal way because I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Uh, then let's look at this. This is this just a little shelf thing that I have behind my desk. Uh, got some little message cards that I found at Ikea. So Gee's poster book. Um, this Sunmi and Schumann is actually in the magazine as well. Um, edition of singles. Some Dungeons and Dragons books to prop that up. And then down here. So I have more albums here that don't really have a theme and I just don't have anywhere to put them right now so they're here. Um, I have Espa's Savage album, the POS version of that, Blackpink's The Show DVD, this uh, Dreamcatcher album that I pointed out in my first reaction to them. Um, still haven't listened to it but I know I love Odd-Eye. <laughs> and then I have both cop both versions, I keep saying copies, but both versions of the first Pink Fantasy EP, Alice in Wonderland. I love it, it's amazing. The visuals and everything are beautiful in it. Uh, then I've also got Purple Kiss here, their first two albums. The soundtrack for my favorite K-drama, which is Strong Woman Do Bong Soon. Um, which is actually how I got into both Chung Ha and Mama Moo because they both have songs on the OST for that. And that was the first time that I had heard either of those artists. And then I have two copies, yes, two actual copies of the result, result file version for Twice's What is Love, not What is Love, Formula of Love is the name of it. And then I have this version as well. I don't know the name of that one, but it's there. Then uh, I'll show the rest of that stuff off later. But I also have uh, this stack of albums here on the floor that I haven't put away yet, um, which is Red Velvet's two new albums, um, Feel My Rhythm and Bloom, the Japanese one. I was a little pissed off because I bought five copies, but one of each member of Bloom. And I got four of the members, PCs, and the group PC. I did not get Irene's photo card for Bloom, and now people are trying to sell it for like $60, and it's crazy. <sighs> I'm upset about that because I wanted it, but whatever. I have uh, the photo books for Feel My Rhythm right there. This is Wien's most recent solo album, We. Uh, let's see if I can get that to focus a little better here. There we go. So I have both versions of We. This is a magazine that Everglow released, Moonbill's most recent album, and then Solar's most recent album. So I got all three of the Amamoo soloists there. I did not get a copy of Hawasa's most recent album because I don't really like it that much, but uh, probably will at some point if I can find one secondhand, maybe. So here I have my photo card binders for all my girl groups, um, Everglow, Idol, Mamamoo, Red Velvet, and Twice each get their own because I'm going to be collecting a lot of them. Um, the rest are just kind of thrown in here. So this is Espa, Pink Fantasy, Purple Kiss, um, and I think, I think Stray Kids is in there as well, uh, but that's about it. So I'm not going to flip through them just for time's sake, this is already getting long, but they're there and that'll be for a different video and if I turn the camera if it'll let me turn the camera I've got horsey I have a lot more Pokemon pops than this but they're all in storage right now um, but I have this little plush Bulbasaur and this 3d printed flower pot in the shape of Bulbasaur 
which is amazing. That's actually Gigi's. She got that for Christmas from her brother, but we keep it down here just because this is our like little Pokemon themed uh, cubby, if you will. Then I've got a Yu-Gi-Oh themed cubby, cubby as well. Seto Kaiba pop figure, this Dark Magician girl, and then Exodia the Forbidden One and Slight for the Sky Dragon are back there as well. Actually, I didn't get into Yu-Gi-Oh until a couple years ago. I never watched it growing up, but uh, Gigi did, so we kind of rewatched through it together. Honestly, one of the most disappointing endings that I've ever seen um, for the original series, um, but worth a watch for sure if you haven't seen it. Uh, and then down here is just kind of the random shit cubby. So I've got a Gundam in there that I've been meaning to build for, uh, well, I got it for Christmas, so since Christmas. Uh, Chandler Bing pop figure and a friend's jigsaw puzzle back there. Some random books and what's left of my CD collection, which is the Earthworm Jim soundtrack. A promotional copy of the dub remix album of Gorilla's first album. Wonderful Rainbow by Lightning Bolt. And the Pokemon the First Movie soundtrack, which I've had since I was about five years old. Um, so yeah, that's what's in there. And then I've got this beautiful Casio SK-8, which is pretty much, other than my drums, the only piece of musical equipment that I actually have right now. So um, that's what I make all my music on. And oh, I guess over here I have this On The Run 2 photo book from the Beyonce and Jay-Z tour that they did. Went down to New Orleans and saw them live there. It was an incredible, fantastic experience. And then I have this Walt Disney art book there. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. That's just a little tour of all my pop culture stuff, I guess. Mostly K-pop, but I've got some anime and random other stuff in there too. Yeah, I... Uh, I'm going to end the video here because it's already like half an hour long and I wasn't trying to make it half an hour long, but, uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll try to edit it down to make it not half an hour if I can. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video and yeah, have a good one.